Hello, it's been a while. I recently had surgery and it slowed us down a bit. But I'm getting better, so here we go. In this video, I'm going to show you the second phase of my homemade RC boat. As you saw in the last video, I was mostly playing around with my parts to see if it was possible to make a bigger boat. And it was. So I got to work on my bigger boat prototype. I used four Aquafina water bottles as pontoons and attached them to the some water bottle mounts that I designed and 3D printed myself. Ta-da! I wanted to try using underwater propulsion to move the boat because it's something I have not done before. I printed a propeller that I found on Thingiverse and put it together with some other pieces that I made. The boat uses a rubber band as a belt to drive the propeller. I did this because it was the easiest thing to do at the time. Now, it's time for some test runs. It's working better than it was before. As you can see, the boat splashed a lot and was super slow. So, I switched to using gears to drive the propeller instead. I 3D printed the gearbox and attached it to a blind rod. I used a blind rod for this because it was plastic and hexagon shaped. The gear ratio is 1 to 1, and it uses the same propeller and bolt frame as the previous version. Okay, now I go. Assembling the gearbox was a little bit harder than putting together the rubber band belt, but it was worth it. The gearbox assembly is mounted to this piece of wood I found in the garage. I soaked the piece of wood in WD-40 for about 24 hours to waterproof it, and so far, it has not shown any signs of water damage, which is very good. I soldered some headers to the motor so I could plug it into my motor driver. I attached the gearbox to the back of the boat and tested it out. Plug in the Arduino. Plug in the receiver. Flip on the remote. Online. Okay, if it doesn't work, I'll plug it. Whoa. Yeah, yeah. It worked! Next, I got to work on the rudder. I 3D printed most of the parts for the rudder assembly, and putting it together was easy. This system worked significantly better than the last one. There. It worked so well that I decided to take the bigger boat out to the pond for some long range test runs. Yeah, it boats! Just where I thought it. The remote's on. It's making noise. It's moving. It worked pretty well, and I didn't lose contact with it. It's working. Yay, there it goes. So, we decided it was safe enough to mount our Insta360 Go 3 to the deck. Here's a first person view from the boat. There was one close call in the middle of the pond with some foul waterfowl. That's all for this video. Come back for the next one to see the third phase of construction. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.